My name is Rebecca Kiesling, and I'm a child of a rape victim. My mother was abducted at knife point by a serial rapist. She actually went to two back alley abortionists, and I was almost aborted. She would have aborted me if it had been legal. But I was legally protected at the time, and I owe my life to the law being there for me because of pro-life legislators who recognized that mine was a life worth saving, even in cases of rape. I'm thankful for those heroes. My name is Wendy Sykes. I live in Indianapolis, and I'm adopted. My birth mom was 19 years old and a college student when she was violently raped. And I'll never forget the first time I met her. I found her when I was 28. And I'll never forget the first time she saw her grandchildren, my four children, for the first time. And the tears in her eyes and the emotion. And she turned to me and said, it was all worth it. And so, you know, she, she told me that abortion was never an option for her. And I appreciate her courage and sacrifice that it took to give me life. Because I too was conceived in rape. My birth mother at 15 was raped and chose to give me my life and an amazing family. My biological father is a rapist. I don't even know my ethnicity, but I am still a human being and I still have value. And I don't believe that I deserve the death penalty because of the crime of my biological father. We believe that rape is a violent act that no woman should ever have to go through. And we believe that those who commit rape or incest should be punished to the fullest extent of the law. But we also believe that a child should not be executed for the crimes of her father. Every life has value. The woman who's going through this circumstance, as well as the child whose life hangs in the balance. Can't we love them both?